Hey, what you doing? Well, I was going to um, do some food photography, <laughs> but you're kind of disrupting that process. I apologize. I saw you with this really cool looking table thing that you use for your backdrops, and mm -hmm. I was just thinking maybe I could do my unboxing on it instead. Yeah, you like this thing that I made, don't you? I, I you like your craftings. I like your craft ends. skills. Would you like to do an unboxing with me, sweetheart? I would love to do an unboxing with you. All right. What you know are we doing? Well, we're going to do a mystery tackle box unboxing together, and we both have sunglasses on and funny little sweaters. They're not sunglasses. <laughs> well, mine are weird, and yours are funny. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're not Why funny. Are my I'll get to that in just a second. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, honey. Sorry for commandeering your blog situation. And on today's newscast, who's going to bring us the weather? I think it's you because you look like a little newscaster right now. I'm excited because I haven't touched fishing related things in a while. Oh, I have your dorky glasses on? No, it's not. The reason, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you. See, that's why I need you in this video. I'm still getting my head together. I started wearing these little yellow glasses because it blocks out the blue light. Um, from different electronic devices. And uh, since I've had so many headaches, I'm just trying to make those stop because those aren't, aren't fun. That's why I have this goofy thing on. I also have a goofy um, bass sweater on. This is a, like a Christmas sweater you would see at a goofy little little holiday party. Uh, this little sweater is a Mystery Taco Box concoction. No, these are not reindeer that are peeing in the snow on the bottom. They're actually, uh, they're holding fishing rods. I thought Just, they were like holding whips. Yeah, she asked about that this morning. She was like, are they whipping? Like, are they getting getting back at Santa? What's going on there? But no, that's, that's what's happening. And it is almost Black Friday and Mystery Talk Box is having a big sale, just like a lot of other retailers. And if you want to get mobile alerts on special giveaways, special prices, um, and see all the big sales from MTB on apparel, tackle, uh, all sorts of stuff, link is in the description so you can get your little mobile alerts. Stay on top of it so you don't miss the good deals. Uh, I have not opened one of these in, in a while. Uh, Mystery Talk Box is uh, one of the partners on this channel. As you guys know, I don't do a whole lot of advertising on this channel, a whole lot of plugs. I get offers all the time from different stuff. Stephanie sees a lot of them, she could attest to it. Uh, and a lot of them, I just, I don't wanna do it. If it's not something I'm, I'm comfortable with, that I would actually use and um, I wanna promote myself to you guys, I'm not gonna do it. So Mr. Tag Box definitely is in my wheelhouse and I'm proud to be working with them. So obviously this video is sponsored by them. Let's get into it and let's talk about some fishing. Oh yeah. Weird, how'd I get this thing taped up this time? Cut down. You Just made calm me down. nervous. Calm down, little missy. Okay, let's see what we got in here. First thing we always do is we grab our card. Where's the card? Now that right there is a measuring board, so you can measure your cash. The devil. The devil? Tips and tricks. Oh, See what's tips. inside your box. All right, do, yeah. I, get, do I get to name yeah, it? Yeah, so let's go for it. Try to find the booyah. Try to find the booyah? Well, booyah what? What does it say? Hard knocker. The hard knocker? Oh, I found it, okay. What does it say about it on there, babe? It doesn't say anything about it. it just well, that's why I'm here, baby, because I'm gonna tell you. Wow, Just I'm actually it's touching a lure. 7 dollars retail value. And obviously, they bundle it together so you don't have to pay that. I actually have used a lot of these in the past of different sizes. If I had to pick like three baits to fish in the late fall, I would say a lipless crankbait, um, some sort of top water, and oh, this is gonna get tough, but maybe a spoon as well, stuff that imitates shad, because they just get in a shad foraging frenzy. And what does that look like, Dave? Um, a rattler. <laughs> a rattler? It's like a rattlesnake? I guess it can kind of sound like She's um, gonna call these rattlers um, now. <laughs> it's the first thing that popped in my head. It's a rattler. A shadler. A shadler, I like that. I like that, that's a good lure. I wonder if that's out there somewhere. Um, but this one is a quarter ounce you know, the shad will actually spawn in the fall, so you'll see a lot of little tiny shad running around on mini lakes, depending on the fertility of the lake. They'll have that spawn, and then you, they bass just get on this little tiny shad gorge, and you have to match the hatch. It's different in the spring, where you're going like more of, um, you know, ca casting out bigger baits, 
trying to go for big bass, you'll see a lot of big bass eat small baits like this in the fall. So this is a quarter ounce, really good paint jobs on these. They cast really good. The balance is really good on these. Uh, I've caught a ton of fish on them, on them and they have sharp hooks. It's, it's like a really good equilibrium of, uh, you know, price point versus quality and everything. I like these. Good, good choice. All right, what else we got in here, babe? All right, heavy metal. Heavy metal, baby. <laughs> no, I already know what this is. This one's is. a new product, MTV exclusive, and it has video reviews. You're good. You know who's done some of those video reviews? You. <laughs> it is me. a tungsten finesse football jig. Yes, it is. And it's a good one, too. So, on the finesse, on the heavy metal tungsten, obviously tungsten. Tungsten's great on any type of bullet weight and also jigs. You don't see it in jigs a whole lot. It's a little bit more expensive to produce, but if you're fishing around rocks, it makes it super, super effective. That's mostly where you fish football jigs, hard bottoms, boat ramps, rocks. Tungsten is harder, so it emits more of a sound when it comes in contact with a hard object, or uh, more so than lead, because lead is softer. You're gonna have a more compact look because tungsten is more dense and you're able to get a smaller head, smaller profile out of a finesse jig, so that makes it great when uh, when you're fishing, uh, when you want to downsize and everything, and, and it's gonna last, your head's gonna last longer on the jig just because it's, it's harder. It's got a lighter weed guard on it and a, a lighter hook, so this is something that you could fish on lighter line, you know, you could downsize, so like, I probably wouldn't go less than 10 pound fluorocarbon, a medium heavy action rod, um, and if you wanted to bump it up to maybe a heavy, you could. It gets a little risky when you go to heavy rods with light action or uh, light wire hooks. But basically, you just drag this on the bottom, filled rocks. And the color is peanut butter and jelly, right? That is correct. Oh, I know that. <laughs> that is correct. You have been around the LFG vessel quite a few times to know that. Plus, you know, guys, I'm allergic. I'm deathly allergic to peanut butter. And, and I guess peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I've never had one. I don't know what one's all about, but if I had to rename this color skirt, I'd probably call it almond butter and jelly. Which you've had. Because I can enjoy that. I love it. Because <laughs> she makes me those sandwiches. Thank you. All right, moving right along here. I'm gonna get a sip of coffee just to energize the feel. You the know, vibes. It's called a smart bait. Uh, Man, I wish we had like skits for these. Smart bait mighty minnow. That sounds like it could use a skit right there. <laughs> this is essentially like a shad style bait, except it changes it changes colors in the water, depending on the temperature. It says activated by water temperature. Uh, it undergoes multiple changes. So this one, I think actually changes from like a red shad color to like more of an actual shad color, I believe. So I don't know what's in here that actually makes it do that. You hear that whistling? What is that noise? Oh, it's an airplane. I think they're dropping bombs. That is weird because we never really have airplanes like that fly Coming over our house. Coming in hot for the landing. Coming in hot. North Korea, coming in. Anyways, the plastic on these is really soft. You know, one of the first things I thought when I opened this was, uh, is the plastic gonna be the same uh, sort of softness, you know? Uh, is it gonna make it harder having that, that extra whatever it is in there that makes it change colors? But no, this would be an interesting thing to try out and see like if that color change really makes the fish react. I don't know, you'd have to do that in like a clear Wait, like clear. it changes in the water? It changes in the water, yeah. Okay. So like on your on your boat where it's warmer, could be, depending on the time of year. It's gonna be one color, then when you put it in the water, with the, with the water temperature difference, it's slowly sinking and it'll like change. How expensive are these morphing, oh, 3.99. Yeah, yeah, they're nice. <laughs> Plastic baits aren't that expensive. I'll tell you guys a little rigging tip here. Uh, I'd love to fish, ah, uh, never mind, never mind, because there's something in here we're gonna talk about. I was gonna say, you can fish these on a single on a screw lock hook, a little lightweighted, I like a 1 8 ounce screw lock hook. Let's talk about the donkey rig. Is it on there? It is. Lucky John? Yes, the Lucky John donkey rig. What does it say on there about it? Um, it's a new product and it's an MTV exclusive. I'll be honest with you guys, I did not know what a donkey rig was until like a couple months ago. Someone, someone explained. I have always called this thing just a double, a double rig. What they have in here, this is something you just have to try. Very simple package, they make it easy for you. It shows you how to rig it on the back, but it is two swivels and two hooks that match you know, that smart minnow or fluke or whatever you're putting on here. One line and it connects to two lures. 
the action <laughs> step he's like look at that rig this thing up it's like a one foot to you know 18 inch leader rig a leader up like that with a swivel and then tie that on to where it'll slide down your other line where you tie uh, another one of these baits on and it just does it, it's like this it's like a rave back in the early 2000s it's crazy <laughs> is this how you rave especially with these because they change colors it's like glow note sticks. to self never go to the club with <laughs> lfg <laughs> it's like it's glow stick crazy action is what it is so when you work that through the water it's it's like two fish that are chasing each other you know two shad getting it on something like that it's crazy it's like it's like before alabama rigs were around people were throwing that donkey rig so Pretty awesome little situation. I was glad to see that in there. What else we have, honey? Moving on the list, the Berkeley. It's a digger. <laughs> what? Berkeley, it's a digger. It's just the way you said it was funny. Like, Berkeley, it's a digger. <laughs> You're making me sound like I'm dumb. <laughs> no, it's, it's Which, so by the way, I don't know what any of these I, things I, are. I, that's why I think it's so awesome to do unboxings with you. Like, if, if you did a food session with me, it'd be the same way. Yeah. I'd be like, cool. All right. All right, so this is a, a diving crankbait, the digger, obviously, if that makes sense. This is a bluegill colored one right here. This kind of reminds me of the old Berkeley Frenzies that they used to have. It has that same sort of tone to it. When I first started fishing crankbaits, I went out and I bought a bunch of Berkeley Frenzies. And they were the ugliest crankbaits I'd ever seen, but I caught so many fish on them. They had just the ugliest color paint jobs and everything. They look like Minecrafty. Anyways, they worked, I don't know. Something about the sound, it kind of reminds me of that sound. 8.5, which I'm assuming, yes, eight and, a, eight and a half feet. Slow riser, depending on the lake, but 8% of the time, they're, they're munching on shads. They're, they're chasing shad around the lake. They almost become pelagic in that way, and they chase around the shad, but if there's not a big shad population in the lake, and often bigger bass eat bluegill. That's why I also like to have a jig too, to represent those crawfish and bluegill. Also have some shad baits tied on, but sometimes they want a big bluegill in their face. You know, it's like eating a big hamburger instead of eating a little nacho like a shad. Fish it on eight to 10 pound fluorocarbon line and just crank it down. It rattles for you, it's pretty easy. This box is pretty packed actually for right. November. We got two more. What do we got, baby? Charlie's worms. The Incredible Crawl. Incredible crawl. Crawler or cre Incredible Crawl? <laughs> incredible Crawl. Well, let me tell you what we're gonna do with this. First of all, there's a bunch in here. And by the way, there's a video review on this on YouTube. This is a perfect bait to put on a finesse jig as a trailer. Now you can fish it Texas rig, um, you can fish it on a little shaky head, that would be very effective, especially on a lot of highland lakes that have a lot of rocks. Bass are feeding on crawfish. Excellent way to fish that and fall crawling on the bottom. Crawl it, you like how you do that? But using this as a trailer is perfect. So first of all, I love this color too. This is a very popular color in South Texas, but it looks very much like a crawfish would. It's kind of like a green pumpkin on top and a reddish on the bottom. Unlike a lot of crawfish baits that you see, um, this one has like a worm style end, which makes it really easy to rig on a trailer. And uh, I'll give you guys a close up of that because it's so sexalicious. And it's scented. Like yes. Does it smell like garlic? No. It just kind of has like a. Plastic. I, but it has a. I can smell the plastic and it's got a little bit of like either a shad oil or. Tastes like straight up. I mean, it Craw taste. oil or something. It it reminds me of stuff I used to dig out of my tackle box back in the day. Tackle box. Tackle box. I'm so excited to be talking about tackle again. It's like Christmas. But anyways, that is a that is a sexy looking little combo. Crawl that on the bottom with some rocks somewhere and uh, see what happens. You're gonna get the old thimp. Last but not least, you have from Bagley, Shallow Balsa Shad. <sighs> shallow Balsa. Now you know, you know what Balsa is? I don't, please inform me. All right, well Balsa. Do I want to be informed? Let me take you back to the old days of uh, Woodshop. Back in the day, did you ever take woodshop in middle school? Do you think I took woodshop? I was in dance. Uh, probably not, dude. <laughs> we used to make these little cars out of balsa, another little project. It's the li one of the lightest woods in the world. Okay. So it makes it good for fishing lures because it makes it float. So it's made out of wood? Balsa wood, that is correct. That is the most popular wood uh, for 
crankbaits because it helps them float. There's also a lot of top waters. What this bait is, if you ever see that L-shaped lip on there, that is because it is designed to get to a certain depth and stay there. Um, you know, a lot of crankbaits, they'll reach a maximum depth, depth, but it, it kind of depends on the amount of speed you're giving the lure and everything. On the L-shaped lips, that's going to get it down to a certain level and just stay there. So if you're fishing like, if you wanted to fish this over a grass line, you could burn it and it's going to stay right on top instead of diving a little bit deeper. It's, it's a more consistent design. You, did I sound smart right there? You did. With that L-shaped lip? Yeah. Well, I learned I didn't two admit, things, balsa and L-shaped lip. There you go. And this one is a super sexy color. And I mean that literally because it, that is called chartreuse sexy shad. It's got red hooks on it. They appear to be pretty sharp. I'm going to give them 80% sharpness. It's not like the, the most deathly sharp hook ever, but bait looks just like a, a, a shad. It's kind of a mix between a jerk bait and, and a crank bait. Fish it over grass. You can fish it around boat docks. Keep it right there. Keep it high. Keep them coming up and smacking it. And just so you know, this one's an MTB exclusive. That is exclusive? Yeah. Exclusive color or exclusive design? I don't know. MTB exclusive. Okay. Well, Done. there's a lot of exclusives in here. There is. And we actually got a... Uh, Sticker? Well, that's scary looking. Heavy metal. Ooh. Heavy metal tungsten. There's a sticker in there and it says that. I'll probably throw that on my refrigerator or my, my tackle boxes. It's scary. All right. Can All you guess off. what else is in Carl's tackle box? Not related to tackle. I'm going <laughs> to say... Sandwich, uh, but something candy bar. food. No. Is it going organic, like apples? No. <laughs> uh, it's got to be candy or some sort of nachos or. Close Doritos. Doritos. Okay, perfect. I and, got it. And what do you get when you're at McDonald's? A Big Mac. No. Uh, fake chicken nuggets yeah! that are squeezed. Chicken okay. nuggets. All right. It's fun. This is a fun games for the last year. Yeah. Okay. Um. You see how much fun you can have with your wife. <laughs> with the Dibble newsletter. I'm sure every wife just loves it. I'm sure they do. They should put, actually put like a like a husband, wife, or girlfriend, or whatever whatever kind of thing you're going for in there where you guys can have like, you know, conversations about tackle. Maybe some, ch some helpful tips and tricks to get that significant other out on the water with you. You could do like, you know, team building things in there. I've enjoyed this, this unboxing experience with you. It's always more fun with you. I actually enjoy just putting my hands on some tackle. I haven't been talking about fishing, explaining lures or anything. That's That's been my life for years. I'm surprised you didn't like reorganize your entire tackle case. I don't know. I've just been chilling out and uh, just kind of regrouping and so this has been a nice, this has been a nice therapeutic session. That is going to do it for this edition of the uh, November unboxing here on the channel. Guys, thank you for staying with us. We, uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. Quick head update, just having trouble sleeping at night, a uh, little irritable at times. Um, still, I'm not driving yet, um, but I, I almost fully have my peripheral vision back. Uh, I'm gonna keep rocking these weird yellow glasses, expect more of that in the future. And I think my hair is, um, it's growing back. It's growing back. The scar is um, is becoming less noticeable. It's still bumpy. Still, there is, there's a lump. There's scabs and stuff in it. And I had this weird crusty thing coming out of my head the other day that was really weird. I thought there was a worm coming out of my head. He comes out of the shower. Honey, is there a is there a worm coming out of my head? <laughs> I was like, a fly landed on my head earlier. There's a, there's a worm coming out of there. It turned out just to be a weird tube-shaped scab from having a hose in my brain. But we want to thank you for all your support and I uh, just want to thank Mr. Tackle Box again. If you want to check them out, uh, link is in the description. Uh, you can go check uh, all their stuff out and check out their sales and check out their box selections. It makes a great Christmas gift. So if you want to gift that to someone, go ahead and do it. Make them happy. Feels like Christmas every month out of the year and you get a little nice little surprise. You get to talk about tackle and it makes you want to go fishing. After you touch the lures, you smell them. I want to go try them out. But what, what do I, but what do I get you for Christmas? That's a good way to end this video. <laughs> what should OSG get me for Christmas and vice versa? I think we need to make another video, like a little sketch uh, video about that again, like we did last year. We, we need your suggestions. We really do. We're having trouble. I mean, we're just thankful that I'm alive, honestly, yeah. I think this year. Put that on a nice ribbon, <laughs> stick that under the tree. We can dress you up in a nice little bow.
And I'm keeping trucking, baby, ready for 2018 and going to bring some big bass your way. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. I told you those slices would work out. <laughs> I had to eat a slice last night, and look how perfect I cut the wompley end off the end so it lays perfectly just for you, honey. Thanks. You were thinking of me, weren't you? I was. <laughs> and milk and goodness. And milk the bread. Goodness. It smells really good. Keep killing that food game, OSG. Oh, yeah.